Mo, Moo, Mo. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many pecks of pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Woo! That was freaking awesome because if I said that pepper, <laughs> pepper would come out a lot. No. Hey. Not only would his picker come out, my picker yes. would come out a lot. Buster has an issue with that. So um, we are Susu, our dog Boo Boo, who's on the ground there. Buster and on the, couch. the wolf man. Yeah, that guy. And um, we are here for day nine of Tommy's Christmas yep. presents to us. And he's going to do a Brian Adams song today. And he wrote a note that said... Um, that he's being accompanied by his brother-in-law, whose nickname is Slash. So whose um, brother-in-law? Tommy's brother-in-law. Tommy's brother-in-law. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Kim Arvidsson. Kim Arvidsson. Arvidsson. Officially known as Slash, although we have a Slash over here. Yeah. So why are you still in our names? Still well, in our songs. Still in the hat. Our Christmas hat. We're still in their songs. I know we are. I'm teasing. All right. So what has Tommy got in store for us today? Let's find out, shall we? I know it's going to be good. Oh, oh, I have something else to say. So do you want to go out tonight or tomorrow night and get a big ass hot cocoa and drive around and just look at lights? Okay. Yeah, I'd love to do that. It's like a, a $5 date. Because between the two of us, we actually have a full set of eyeballs. <laughs> all right. Sorry. I just got all Christmas. Yes, we will do that. Head. All right. We're ready? I am always ready for Tommy. Don't even. Just play it. We waited all. Oops. Sorry, guys. It'd be nice to show people, huh? Yeah, it would be nice. Sorry about that. I did that on the last video, and I decided not to even redo it. I just, and I'm not going to do it this time either. We're, here we go. <laughs> we waited all through the year for the day to.
Something about Christmas time Okay, so um, so wow, that made a big impact on Susu, yeah. Um, and uh, honestly, I thought it was amazing. Um, very, very well done, and. Um, so let me just, I'm sorry, I, I have to do this or we'll, we'll, we'll forget about it. And uh, hopefully that's right. Okay, can't do it because we're still recording. Yeah. Never mind. All right, so um, before we sign off, um, we'll we get have to this. talk about the song first. Yeah, let's talk about the song and then we'll sign off. And uh, there you go. So. I want to know what you thought about it. Let me say that that for me, I loved the melody in that. I loved it, and I want to go back and listen to the Brian Adams version. And it's it is very it's a very pretty song, isn't it? And it's got some really neat. Um, it's got a neat message, right? I wish it was Christmas every day. Uh, well, you know, there's a lot of a lot of junk about Christmas you don't like, right? Run, running around and trying to get everything done and thought well it probably thing. means I, I wish we're but, the good parts of christmas well i know i know I, this is what i was going to say but the best part of christmas especially if you have children in and we both have had children we don't have any grandchildren if you're watching you shouldn't you know um but the best part of christmas for me was was watching my children were spoiled and i know yours probably were as well but but just the joy that they waited 364 days for christmas right <laughs> as soon as christmas was done they were checking off the days on the calendar right and and when it finally came and it got close man they were just i mean that's the heart of the part of it right? is that we're growing up now you know um, and it's kind of sad and my children are growing up and it's kind of sad but but they will get to see when they have children, they'll get to see that magic of Christmas. You know, whether they believe in Santa or us, doesn't matter. It's just, it's just a day to, like he says, to see the smiles on people's faces. Right? Mm -hmm. Christmas is one of those days for Americans, for here, um, where people really kind of go out of their way to be nice to each other at least for a day, <laughs> right? So that's what I thought about the song. I thought that the melody was amazing. I loved it. It was it was one of those melodies that can tear your heart out. That's true. Mm. That's right. So I'm sorry, go ahead. Why don't you give you time to kind of, kind of get your breath? Well, I guess this song came out this song came out in um nineteen eighty five, which was um, you know, I was in high school, I was a senior in high school. And um, just through the years, all the Christmases from when I was a little girl up until now, just, you know, came flooding over me. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Bittersweet, but also, you know, I'm happy that I have those memories. 
really happy I have those memories. And um, we'll have, God will give us grandchildren, and we'll get to watch them open presents. Yeah. And apparently it's even better when you're doing that because you don't have to clean up all the mess or worry about anything. You just get and give, and then you can go home. You know, I I, uh, I often talk on this channel about um, about how hard my childhood was, but I will tell you that that for the most part, my parents made Christmas as cool as they could do. Yeah, you know, as good as they could. Parents don't have a lot of money, um, but they they bought us stuff. We believed in Santa for a little while until my father became Santa. You know, my father became Santa for all the kids in the neighborhood. And, and he'd go down to the churches and the shelters and play Santa and then we knew, you know, but before then we believe, I believed in Santa, probably until I was about five years old. I still and, believe. And, uh, well, my dad sent us so. I believed in Bigfoot too, so you can't yeah. trust me. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah but, but, but yeah. I do remember, it brings back the memories, not many, but there's some not saying that I didn't have great Christmases because I did, but it doesn't burn back that many memories. But the ones that it does were very sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. They're very sweet Christmases. Mm -hmm. So you and I have had some nice Christmases together. We absolutely have. So, yeah. So wow. So we. <laughs> it's kind of how I'm starting to feel. So we're going to shut this down, guys. We yeah. love you. Yeah, and I love. Tommy's brother-in-law. Oh man, he is great. Yeah, boy. he does. Yeah, and, um, and the whole mix, the whole production. Yeah, that was very beautiful well with very the bells well. and the choir. Yeah, and Brian yeah, Adams, Tommy, kudos to you, brother. You. Yeah, is he still alive? I think so. Because I want to go back and find that from him and listen to his version. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, it's been played a lot. I never heard it. I, honest to gosh, I never heard that song. Okay, of course, well, I guess in you lived in a hole. I, lived, I did. I lived by myself in 85, and I didn't do Christmas. Um, very seldom. Wow. Um, but you know it now. I do, and I will look it up because I love it. I love the, uh, yeah. I can't wait to see what Tommy's going to do tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, Every day, it's something new with yeah, this guy. I mean, what I love about it is that today is the ninth. Yeah. So uh, we have... 20 days. No, no, we don't have that many. We have you, 16 days. You math not, math G, have not, not way. have not way. Some, some people have way and I have not So way. yet we get 16 more days. Yeah. All right. Yay, yeah, 16 All more right. days. Tommy. I can't wait. If you like this video, guys, please hit like, subscribe, share, notify. Thank you for stopping yes. by. And, and as always, be blessed. And please don't hurt anybody. And, and next time you make suggestions that I take the command chair, don't do that. I don't like this chair. I like, I like that position over there. Don't hurt anybody. We've got to stop the recording. <laughs> Why? I think you look good there.